one of the the names CJ brought up for Jack Eichel, and you had brought up Anaheim before, which I thought, why would they do that? They suck. But then I guess they suck less than Buffalo, so that would be nice. And it's a warmer climate. But another team, that was Calgary Flames, mm-hmm. snooping around for Jack Eichel. You got to make a big splash. You want to keep your job. Right. I mean, you talk about someone who may actually be done. Well, yeah. Well, okay. So then if you're Kevin Adams, your your ask has to start with Matt Kachuk, right? You're not taking Sean Mon- Monahan and Noah Hannafin. I suggested at the trade deadline, Johnny Gaudreau. But Johnny's on a no trade now. Exactly. Too late. <sighs> it could be. And, he might want to go there. And and, and he might he he's a rare example of a guy who might actually want to go there because he's from New Jersey. Yes. And that would be in Western New York. Yeah. So there, he, there were also, rumors would, with him in the Flyers. And, I would definitely take the other trade you proposed. Monahan, Monahan, and Hannafin. Yeah, I just don't think that they would fit into what Calgary or sorry, what Buffalo would need. Don't care. <laughs> that sounds like something. two good players that Buffalo doesn't have. Right. Flip them. Yeah. Oh, okay. All right. Like just. I don't even know if they have no acquired trade value. I don't know. Are we moving on to Eichel? By the way. Well, we can, but I. Well, I don't know. Um, well, here's here's what we know, and this is according to CJ from the show. Um, he talked about how. That he doesn't think that the deal is going to get done till like May, Oof. and we oh. do know that um, we do know that that uh, uh, they are sharing more of the medical records, mm-hmm. and that some teams are comfortable with the disc replacement, some teams are not. Yeah, so that's taking them out of the the race for for him. And then beyond all that, um, if they do do the trade now or within this season, um, the Sabers objectively will get less than they would have got this summer if they had just given the medical records over and not played hardball with this, they would have their package and it will be better than what they have or what they have available to them currently, what they will have. Off-season trades are always, you always get more of a haul because people, your salary cap doesn't count. Everybody thinks they're in line for the Stanley Cup. Mm-hmm. Your rosters aren't set, so you're experimenting. But now in season, how are you going to make a Jack Eichel deal when you need so many pieces off somebody's roster when they're like, we're playing games. We and can't the, just send you everything. The dude by then will have not played hockey in God knows how long uh, hockey in a non COVID environment in God knows how long, like now we're talking about, will he ever be the same again? Mm -hmm. Now there's some question marks like, Oh, I don't know. We'll have to see, but like he wouldn't be the first player to take significant time off, get surgery and then come back and be fine. Mm -hmm. And if you trade for Eichel in the, say like November, December, you're, you're crossing your fingers. He's there for the playoffs. Like you don't know what Mm -hmm. that timeline is. So why, why give up all the pieces off your roster now? And then you don't get anything back for like four months. How do you play like that? The logic that we've seen in the Buffalo Sabres uh, with Eichel over the last week, week and a half since the Leonard tweets shows how illogical they behaved. Like, Oh yeah, we'll (laughs) release medicals kevin adams is open to conditional picks and shit yes which is also a new thing which he wasn't open to right like i i don't like doing this as much as i used to any idiot on the internet could have told you to do that are you stupid are you are you genuinely are you dumb or are you in control are you dumb are you in control no, you should have done this. Are they too. stupid? Well, he, well. So here's the the thing is, is that because any NHL team, in case you're, and let me give a context to this, and then I'm, I want to throw to you guys here. The context here is that any team that's acquiring Jack Eichel is acquiring risk because we're not sure if he's ever going to play again. Not 100 percent sure. Now that's why the conditional picks come in because it's like, well, if he plays X amount of games, gets X amount of points, then these these draft picks vest, right? They become real. I'm just saying, and where you guys were going with this is. I'm wondering if Kevin Adams is actually in charge. He's not. Oh, you mean of this deal? Right. And of the team? Because it seems like whenever the right thing should happen, it's only after what seems like ownership relents. It took months and months of getting a thumbs up from the two people above him to do these things. He, I am 100% sure Kevin Adams, if he was in charge, he would have done this months ago. Like this would have been done during the summer, but he didn't, he had to beg and plead to get the thumbs up from people to be like, hey, okay, now move forward with this. And now he's got it. So now we're seeing these things. How can the organization move forward? Like, until you, so this is just gonna, every time someone talks about the Buffalo Sabres, it's gonna be about this. Well, it's not gonna be about wins and losses. Here's what would make you feel good. It's not gonna be a lot of the first thing. I'm looking at uh, I'm looking at Calgary's roster here. 
maybe you do take a Hannafin or an Anderson, Rasmus Anderson, both signed to longer term deals, 24 years old, and maybe an Elias Lindholm. There's no no, no known trade clause. No, because everybody say, else is on a limited. You no can trade. go through any NHL players, and if I they're I'm like, oh, those are reasonable players. I'm like, yeah, do it. At this point, it's just get do the thing, right? Make the trade for guys who are warm bodies are going to play on your team because you need to move forward, like you're saying, Steve. Just There's, move forward with your franchise. You can even just get picks. That yeah, might just, be the easiest thing: is conditional picks. Yeah. A whole bunch. A whole bu- yeah, and uh, like <laughs> a wild Calgary. amount of conditions. Yeah. Remember so, the Bernier trade with the Leafs? No, they they traded them. Was it to Detroit? I can't remember who they traded the Ducks, and there were four conditions on mm-hmm. on like one pick. That's how it should be because we don't know Jack Eichel's future, so why not just get a whole I, bunch of crazy first round picks? If I'm the Flames, Tree Living's clearly going for it. So if I'm the Flames, I'll just be like, I'll give you all of our picks this draft. Like, <laughs> like who cares? Sure. Well, that's one where ownership might step in and be correct. <laughs> <laughs> well, no, hey, all they Brad, have. No, here's, here's what they have. They've got round one, a uh, second from Florida in their own second, and then nothing till the fifth round, and then nothing till the seventh round. What about it, spread it out a little? <laughs> you got you got a couple of years worth of draft picks. Yeah, fine. <laughs> if Eichel does this, the pick is top ten protected. If yeah. Eichel does this, it's not. If Eichel does this, it's two seconds instead of a first. If any moron could have told you, you could have spent the whole summer focusing on that. And guess what you have? Like Casey Middlestad on the top line. Mm-hmm. Like what? There was a two-month period where there was nothing going on where you could just nothing. brainstorm the trades on your piece of paper. You know, if, if you're from your out. fucking cottage yeah. and dumbest organization in the sport. If you're a Sabres Genuinely fan, terrible. you have every right to be mad. Oh, yeah. Every right to be mad. That's that's the part that was the dagger for me. Is like either you hang on to him till May or you accept less. And by the way, just to throw one at you, um, Tampa Bay, $18 million over the cap. Nobody on LTIR this year. Wouldn't it be funny if? Brent Zebrick's on LTR. Okay, well, there so you go. Vincent LeCavalier. Oh, yeah, he is. Remember we did that during the season <laughs> preview. Oh, yes. So, no, An- but Anaheim makes some sense because yeah. they're not going to do a damn thing this year. Mm-hmm. Um, what if Tampa did? Tell me Tampa's not made that phone call. I don't know how it works. It, that's the thing. It doesn't matter. It's Tampa. <laughs> he's an, he's an LTIR. Happens. I don't need him till the playoffs. We're Tampa. Go get healthy. Get ready for the playoffs. We're going to Kucherov off this. Why wouldn't you if you're Breezewalk? Now, one one thing I do remember CJ, it was either CJ or Frege said about a month ago, is it's not like this is a condition that gets better by uh, leaving it. No. Like you're wasting time. No, he's got a herniated disc, mm-hmm. man. Like his he's got he's got I don't know, I'm gonna explain this like a guy who's not a doctor, but basically he's got a he's he's got a nerve in his neck that's getting smushed by the day. Right? Yeah, and you might have seen that video of him hanging out with the Bruins in Boston, and he's at a Red Sox game, and he's having a great old time. Yeah, I've had a great time at baseball games too. It doesn't mean his neck doesn't hurt, and that is what gets lost in all this. It's it's beyond asinine how the Buffalo Sabre, uh, Sabers have handled it from terms of trying to make your hockey team good. The fucking guy is in pain every day. That should be the main story. The NHLPA, what, I, what do you do all day? Genuinely, what do you do all day? The most useless organization in the world. What do you do? Why isn't this done yesterday? He oh, even it's... fired his agent to try to get this process moving, mm-hmm. right? And there's been progress. Yeah, there has. Yeah. And there's been progress. Why? Because the kid did something. It's nothing from the organization. And or nor from the PA who they also met with. And Gary, how typical Jack Eichel has to do the whole fucking thing himself. Gary Does that not it. sum up his entire Sabres tenure? Hard to disagree with that. Useless. Go get another yellow jersey, you fucking. I I really do. No, they're a waste of all our time. Will it say Go Sabre? back down to 31 teams. Mm-hmm. They're a waste of all our time. And they shouldn't be. They should not be. That should be a red-hot hockey city. Absolutely. And they were for a long time. I should hate the Sabres goal horn again instead of never hearing it. I like their yellow jersey with the Sabres across the, the waist. The Buffa slug? Uh-uh. No, I hated it. It's terrible. They've got some bad jerseys. Oh, the, the black, red, and white Sabres. I used to I used to hear that goal horn in my nightmares. That I, was ha- a good I hated them more than the Habs. I, I hated, I, as a kid, I hated those Sabres more than I've ever hated the Boston Bruins. Dominator. 
Oh, that mother... <laughs> yeah. Man. Yeah. Good run. Hell of a run. Unbelievable. Hell of a run. And now they're just an irrelevant bag of garbage. Yep. It's a shame. It's a shame. They don't need to be. And you put them in the hands of anybody with any kind of competence. They won't be in a millisecond. But until then... Well, and this is the it. thing too, right? What's so funny about the Sabre situation in a very not funny way is that the NHL is the parody is so unbelievable to have a team this bad. It has to be extremely poorly managed. The bad like, teams really stand out. They yeah. do. And it's rare. It's like one or two, maybe a year. Yeah, and you got 20 teams who got a shot at the playoffs. Sure. hundred percent. It might even be oh, more. Yeah. I think it's more. 25? Yeah. I mean, we're talking about... Even the Sharks and Kings made a run of it last year. Yeah. yeah. Not really the Sharks. <laughs> yeah, the Kings had a great start. Kings had a yeah. great start. They were in it all the... Uh, I read uh, you that stat about the Sharks. 3, 11, and 2 in their last, whatever that is, 17 or whatever. Man, they got like right up to the deadline. They're like, maybe, maybe, maybe. No, no, we're not. No, <laughs> no we're not. <laughs> 